notice it's a natural amphitheater. And that's where the stage was. All quiet now, 42 years later. I'm standing on the ground that used to be underneath the uh, stage at the 1969 Woodstock Festival here in Bethel, New York. It looks like they use plenty of weed killer to turn it brown to make sure everybody who visits here realizes that this is where the stage was. It creates quite a contrast to all that beautiful green pasture grass up there. Well, 42 years ago grass was just a little bit trampled. There was no beautiful lines of evergreen trees. They've been planted in the years that followed. It was just Mas Max Yasger's dairy farm. And, uh, the site of apparently, I guess the largest uh, rock festival in history with 400,000 people here. I was fortunate, if you want to use that term, fortunate enough to be one of them. But I didn't stay for the whole thing. Quite frankly, I had had enough the first day. Things always seem better upon recollection than in the heat of the battle. But the important thing is it defined a a time in history when things were just maybe a little bit simpler and life progressed at a, at a more human pace. You get your arms around things. Not that we didn't have problems back then. There were problems with people not getting along and this little thing called Vietnam and we had crooked politicians back then too. But we sure as hell had better music than they got today. I think I'm the only one that feels that way. We also had ham radio with transmitters with real tubes. And uh, that's part of what I'm planning on doing is operating a special event station, uh, W2S, Whiskey 2 Sierra, in recognition of the 42nd anniversary of the 1969 Woodstock Festival. So I thought I'd come down here and take a few of these pictures. Might put something together for YouTube. We'll have to see. But uh, this is what it looks like today. Over the hill there, there's a beautiful uh, performing arts center. And uh, the, uh, they managed to book quite a few big names. It's been in operation uh, just a couple of years. There's a, there's a wonderful 1960s uh, museum. It really is worth the time and the effort to get to and a couple of bucks they want for admission. But the most important thing here is where I'm standing in this this piece of real estate. Uh, to a lot of us, you know, from that age, it, it just is a remembrance of a real neat time in history. A man had walked on the moon about a month earlier on, uh, what was it, July 20th, I guess, somewhere like that, and uh, the Woodstock Festival was held August 15th to 17th. That was about a month later, so, you know, the whole mood of the country was very, very up and positive and, you know, age of Aquarius, we can do anything. Wish we had a little bit of that feeling today. We sure could use it. We had our problems back then, but somehow... We actually solved them. Not today.